Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna go through the process of what I do to create a scanograph. Even before I even continue with this video, please subscribe to this channel. I got a mixed bag of stuff here. I got a music performance. I like to rant about environmentalism and health. I have another video on scanography. It's kind of the introduction of scanography. What just I just go in more in depth of what it is, what I do with it, and all that. So um, for people that don't know what scanography is, it is um, simply taking an image using a flatbed scanner. And I have a unique way of doing it myself, and I do nature specimens and all that. So I've already collected the specimens I'm going to use. Maybe I'll do another video on how I go out and when I find it, find a specimen that I like, all that kind of stuff. But today we're just going to go through the actual process of taking the specimens, arranging it, and then the, the actual scan, how that comes out. And we're going to look at the full image and comment on it. I'm going to comment on it and we'll witness that together. I usually, just an explanation on the um, insect part. A lot of people have an issue with me collecting in wild insects. I only use non-endangered insects, moths, butterflies, only strictly non-endangered ones. So truthfully, you driving to work, you're probably going to kill a lot more insects than me collecting one moth or one wild butterfly. Or in this case, we're doing a praying mantis that I found. It looks so cool on here, guys. You'll see. It looks cool. But um, you taking one insect and um and we're gonna really look into it so it'll be very educational as well um it will have purpose you know and i typically save the specimen for a long time as much as i can before it starts breaking down and you know there's i find dead flies on my windowsill and stuff like that so insects have a really short lifespan they reproduce really quickly um especially non-endangered ones which is the ones i always go for and so that's kind of my explanation on the insect part. Let's go into what it actually looks like to do a scan.
Alrighty guys, so that scan came out so freaking cool. I loved the way the details of the feathers, the details of the praying mantis, the wing of it, the body and how it contrasted with the feathers and the, um, it's just, it always blows my mind when I see you know, the pictures coming out. Sorry for the more basic setup here. I just didn't feel like setting up the whole camera setup and everything. I really just wanted to come to you while it's still, I'm still feeling inspired by it. Um, I'm still blown away about how, how awesome it came out. I really, it was a very basic breakdown of what I do. It's literally just me putting stuff on a scanner, pressing scan, seeing how it comes out on the computer. I mess with the, um, quality i will when i'm on the video uh, the photo editing software i bring up the sharpness a little bit and the contrast a little bit literally that's it the rest is all from the scan itself um i'm yeah really glad the way it came out hopefully you enjoy it too it's hard for me to even take credit for it because it's all there already i'm just documenting it i um catch it of course i catch the praying mantis you saw it on the clip that it's saw my window that and dozens of more praying mantises and um so it it's there is some forethought that goes to composing it and doing the arrangement of the specimens but it's really hard for me to take credit for it so i don't want to sound like i'm bragging i'm just really happy to see the you know to see the result and am fascinated by the details and everything that i get from a um a scan so I'm glad that I got to bring you along and for you to see how, what I see when I'm editing. And um, so, yeah, so I got more stuff, just some more work on my Instagram. It's not as detailed and, you know, it's not a video, but it's on Instagram. It's kind of, my Instagram's kind of like a, like art gallery. It, that's the way I set it up. And then you can scroll through and see the details um, in the actual image. So you can check that out. And I have my personal Instagram if you want to add that. Subscribe to this channel if you like this. Comment any suggestions. You know, in the future, I do want to be a little bit more detailed how I catch the specimens, like maybe me out there catching butterfly with my net um, and like really arranging it, talking about, you know, getting a little bit more into detail. But this, I just really wanted to get it to you to see the basic setup of how I um, get from idea to scan, you know idea to scanning to final product thank you so much for being here and joining me on this journey like i said subscribe if you like this comment if you have a suggestion share it with a friend if you think they'll like this kind of stuff and i will see you in the next video